What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of My Empire Total War. Let's play as the Knights of St. John and this has the potential I think to be a bit of a series finale but I'll get into that a bit later. Right now we are attacking the city of Albany with Alessio Carducci's force and they've got a significant component of their garrison is made up of militia. They do have mortars and howitzers so we will be uh, marching up in quick succession in order to try and uh, push them out of their any fortifications that they may, they may have. So the reason why I say this may be a series finale is because I need to capture two more regions in order to satisfy the victory conditions and then the campaign is won. Um, however, there is the possibility to take this through to a complete world domination but because I kind of dangle the campaign vote in front of you guys over the last couple of parts I think it would be a bit unfair to just decide that that wasn't happening. So when this video goes out, there will be an option for a... In the camp faction vote that will be coming with it, there will be an option to carry on this campaign if there is sufficient demand. But that's enough about that, I'll explain more about that in the video. So we've got a fairly normal formation. Uh, our infantry lines spread out. Our artillery's at the front that's going to push up, but should, really this is just going to be a fast and furious offensive storm our men up to try and get away from there quick line run our cavalry up onto the extremes there's my cavalry there you go yeah there comes the quick line fortunately they're focusing on our guns but quick line isn't that effective against gunners like at least not in this formation these guys are spinning those wheels incredibly quickly. You do have to wonder how much uh, effort it is going to these guys pushing the wheels when they're being towed by an artillery team, by a, by a cavalry team. Okay, so as the lead elements of our formation get into place, they're going to push up to get the um, howitzers within musket range. just see them off then the flanks of our assault are likely to push up well the edges of the flank the edges of the assault we will push up and curve inwards in order to begin engaging their very immature musketry line skirmishes are within musket range so that's not gone very well for them there we go so the artillery is broken so now we can push up with more vigor we're engaging the 56th regiment of militia so then this infantry here Deploy like so. Cavalry push up a bit further onto the ridge. Field artillery can open up, and they don't have much of they don't have any choice but to engage. And we will keep pushing up. Cavalry will come around the flanks. Yeah. So now they are forced. To rush their men forward into the maelstrom of musketry while they can see our cavalry skirting around to the rear and they have nowhere to go. A regiment of colonial dragoons charge into them. Just push the entire line up, just get aggressive. See if you can break these dragoons. Nah, sadly not. Push up. So my cavalry to attack tantalizing targets. Oh yeah, they've 
They're breaking, all right. This is a route, but this again shows what what you can achieve if you uh, surround the enemy. Good, kill a handful more dragoons, but they just smash down into this infantry. Because my god, this is poor old militia. That's what I say. There we go. All of my cavalry is committed to the chase. Well, except for my general, of course. But he will be there in due course. And who's remaining? They deserve a medal. Ah! Some of the uh, colonial militia has survived the battle. So send some of my cavalry up to intercept. bring up a big wad of troops over. This cavalry can set the Dragoons. General's bodyguard can also smash into the militia. General charge of the militia, and my light cavalry attempt to try and chase down some of these fellas, but I think they're always going to suffer from being too well, my cavalry are going to suffer from the enemy being too close to the line. Let's continue. You don't bother with that. Them especially our oh, nuts. Like, you can try and work on the Dragoons if you can get within within range, and you have, which is good. Eh, send these guys in to go bayonet charge that militia unit, and then let's just go and speed up time. Yeah. A good chunk of them are going to, get, going to get away, but it doesn't matter because we are attacking their city, so they will... I'll get destroyed anyway, but I'm doing it because this is such a massive route. Oh yeah, do you want to kind of punish them for it? Okay, they've had enough. Everyone except the cavalry just leave off. Just leave them alone. And allow my cavalry to finish off the job. Okay, my artillery previously wasn't firing, which is why I didn't give them an order. Engage the 89th. There we go. Delicious. A heroic victory for our forces. Yeah, we lost 200 men, they lost 3,000. So Albany is ours, but we cannot repair, but we can replenish. We do have men surging towards Cayuga, because it looks like they're going to be in a spot of bother. But this is why we have... This is why we pushed up to Albany. We've got Gian Gian Gianmarco Biano, Baiano marching in from the northwest. And we also have this force under Daniel Boscovic to push around from the west. Although I could have done with getting better roads to help spur the advance. The, the uh, new Spaniards have not yet pushed onto Antigua, which is good. I mean, we could attack... Uh, Tripoli soon, but I don't really. I'm not sure if that's where I want to do it. Uh, I want to keep my keep my replenishment going in France. Let's hit and turn. So the French have been repulsed a couple of times, but you can definitely. Oh, okay. We're gonna have to repulse. At least we're repulsing an individual army this time. Well, firstly. Let's push uh, this French force back out of Cayuga. They may then send another one after us, and then another, because there are three armies nearby, so we do need to be 
careful with how we decide to set up our forces. We don't want to get destroyed in this battle and get too easily and too easily uh, eradicated in the next battle. But we do have defences, which is always nice. So let's go for a more traditional formation with our guns spread out in order to sp in order to provide a bit more uh, a bit more supporting fire our flanks are going to be more spread out than this drop our cover on the flanks our pikes just pick a set of guns our general can hang out got a howitzer dropping quick lime I know where you're shooting, but I don't want you to shoot the way you are. So everyone's are aiming at this. All my howitzers are aiming at the 40th. Chiefly because that's their only target. You can aim at that foot guard unit. You can aim at the, this foot guard unit. Then my right flank can be spread out a bit more. I mean, three ranks is the most efficient because you've got... If fire by rank only goes back three ranks, but I always like to leave it, have a reasonable amount of the fourth rank, so that they can deal with casualties and I can provide a certain amount of firepower while this line of casualties is taken up, rather than have a constantly dwindling, uh, constantly dwindling rate of firepower. So you're attacking the 14th, these guys are after the 15th. Third. Foot guards, colonial militia, colonial militia. Ah, oh, it's because they've got some guns out here on the flank. Okay. Let's group all my cavalry on this flank. Ooh, there's hidden troops here, eh? <laughs> Didn't expect that. But good. You can probably hit. Uh, you also hit the guards. Killing guards, infantry is never a bad idea with artillery. Especially when they're setting up like this. So what cavalry is this? Colonial Dragoons. Their artillery is no longer firing, which is brilliant. Soon they're going to order their general advance. I might get you to hit the third, actually. That'd be quite a nice angle. And you could probably hit the fourteenth. Let's take advantage of those egg-shaped clouds of quicklime. So there must be a hidden unit somewhere getting into position, or the or, or it's the general. Missed with the quick lime. It's unfortunate. This one didn't though. I mean, I don't know what they. I don't know what quite what they were hoping to achieve. Might speed up time in case there is a hidden. Usually, what happens is when they're setting up into a line like this, it's because they're waiting to get into formation and they're setting. There's an infantry unit that's hidden and they're creeping very slowly. Oh, okay. I mean, it's kind of lame they're doing this, really. Push up our infantry, but then we do want to keep our houses firing on the left flank to provide as much support as possible. Got some marines. Okay, let's make sure I pick good targets. The marines are going to die soon. 33rd infantry are going down. Nah, the marines are still probably a good shout. Let's 
So let's push this flank up. To engage them. There we go. Yeah, there's guerrilla mercenaries to the rear. That's probably what was screwing things up. But, because I do want field artillery to also help. Get my howitzers to aim at the large units. Because my infantry will be more than enough to knock out these guerrilla mercenaries. And you're aiming at the mercenaries. Uh, the next unit along should hopefully be aiming at the 14th. They are. Good. Run these guys around on the flank. We can break these mercenaries and bayonet combat. Okay, cavalry's on the move. Artillery's on the move. There you go. You start engaging those infantry on the flank. You aim at the 15th. You guys aim at the 15th Marines, my howitzers. And you guys just reload. Okay, those men are shattered. The reason why I want these guys to reload is because they can go and engage the Dragoons. Yeah, there we go. The overall attack has now begun. You may as well hit the mercenaries, switch these guys to cast shot, get them to open up, get my pikes to engage the dragoons, get you guys to switch to cast shot and open up on the infantry. So you guys knock out artillery you guys knock out this artillery then wheel around to also hit the mercenaries cavalry shattered and chase down the mercenaries as well you guys go after these gunners to make sure they do die. I want to get my cuirassiers in against the mercenaries. Come on, break your devils. Oh. The colonial line infantry are a bit upset. Send some of my light cavalry to go chase down the routing troops. Just to make sure they do die. Definitely a case to get my general involved as well. Do we have any marines routing? Yes, we do. The 15th. In which case, let's retarget my. Artillery. Crusier's trace hit those marines. Get my howitzers to keep focusing on that lone unit of militia in the centre. Okay, let's run the Crossiers away from those marines. Get them to chase down the 114th. That's right, my general is barreling straight past enemy formation, but they're not going to get set up in time. They might just clip him. Yeah, they did. But not enough. 
Line, militia, militia, bodyguard. Okay, let's just stop all the artillery now because these marines will break. This infantry is going to do very badly. To be honest, you may as well just pay in a charge. You men charge down the 48th. The 3rd Regiment of Dragoons chase down the 24th. So the reason why I definitely want to chase men down is just because we have... There are so many French armies on the field. goes to chase someone else who aren't the marines and for them for, not to worry about the marines until they get a bit closer to the edge of the map to be honest i might just send you guys to go get them now these men are free so just chase down the marines and you can also chase down the marines because you guys are only chasing down 22 men so should probably be fine. Eight, five, four, three, one. There is another unit routing, but it's not a unit I'm really bothered about. It's just a unit of... Can't even pick it out. Doesn't matter. The Marines are the ones you want to kill. I can deal with armies being made up of fragments of chaff but I'd rather destroy elite infantry when I've got the opportunity to do it. There we go. Let's repulse to you. <laughs> Same again. Fighting on the bloodied fields of Cayuga. This may end up being only one... Uh, we might. This might actually be the last battle because the army to the west, I think, is already depleted. So I don't think this army is going to break us because they've got a lot of auxiliary troops. They have already, they have also got their own depletion issues. I mean, this is not a great bit of terrain. Let's dump our artillery down in one clump. Let's build a little fortified redoubt. Then in reserve to deploy where I see fit. I have these men. Plus the leftovers of my cavalry. I've got my general. And I got my pikes. Okay, let's deploy some of these men on the left. Alongside my pikes. Let's deploy these two men along my right. Militia, colonial line, militia, 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 colonial line, mercenaries. To be honest, all the colonial line units are depleted as well. So he's not doing a great job when they get too close on that terrain. <laughs> the 80th Regiment of Militia that's routing. They'll definitely come back. So who else have you got? Yeah, it's all just mercenaries and militia. Just auxiliary troops. Native bowmen, which hopefully will be engaged by rapid musket fire. Okay, you guys start lobbing canister shot, I suppose.
ultimately I want my actually my cavalry then charge the light horse if these guys are already routing. To be honest, we might draw them into one one complete battle there. One scrum. Okay, there we go. These men are marching up the crest of the hill. Tri mounted tribal auxiliary I'm not that bothered about because 67 men on horseback should not really win against a unit of grenadiers and a unit of marines. Good num good wait, how are these guys winning? Well, they won't be winning for long, I'll tell you that. Let's run my cavalry down to start intercepting some of these routing troops. thought so. You guys might have some pretty dope looking hats, but my man have pointy sticks. There we go. Ah, I think it's because they were too close. You guys aim at the Ottawa Scouts, you guys aim at the Regiment Colonial Line that's attempting to uh, intercept our forces. Nah, yeah, we're okay there. So you engage the 60th, you engage the 85th. Come on, it's 100 men! Chop them, chop them up. Okay, maybe both of you guys hit the 85th. Engage them in point blank range. Secondary hits are actually, you're actually getting some good secondary damage against the Ottawa Scouts. Ignore that unit of militia if they're gonna if you're gonna if these guys are gonna cause trouble. Yeah, let's just ignore them and go on to attack some other unit. Yeah, there we go, they've been pushed back. Send in the pikes. Pike would have something to say to you, Militia. And you don't even have nearly as dope hats. They're falling rapidly. Push my infantry line up to the crest of the hill. Yeah, you're having a grand time chasing down the militia. Wow, 
I really do want this hill. Let's march the pikemen towards the general's bodyguard. Ah, that's a terrible position to shoot. There you go, these men can fire into the flank of the infantry, storming out the centre. Good hit on the 59th. Okay, you guys hit the 60th. You guys hit those chaps. Foot artillery stop firing because there's no one actually within a decent firing position for you to, to shoot at who is still standing. Most of the... Well, the 59th and the 60th were those men. Sprint my general along the line. Hit the colonial line first. The general's bodyguard's going down. I think it's probably going to be the end of it. Oh, damn, I meant to... Well, I meant to continue that. Oh dear, dear, dear. Oh well. Done pretty good. Well, they've only got 400 men remaining. But they are massing. And they are massing. Dear Paris. They're not going to give up. They're not going to give up the fight. Spain's declared on me, understandably. However, I do not think it is going to, how would you call it, change the price of fish. Yeah. Withdraw. <laughs> Get these guys to build up their strength a bit more. The demand an alliance? No. <laughs> no alliance, Russia. You couldn't even hold your own borders. And the Greeks pushing into the Western Mediterranean. Enemy raids in Marseille. Again, it's understandable because it is kind of not my... Well, it is their capital. These men can sit inside here. Signore. You guys have some troops you can send over to in Romano America. Castelli. Avanti. Just to give them some support. And these chaps can merge some of their units together. And these two units can leave. Place them with cavalry and some good infantry. Yeah, you guys are doing good. Over in England. Ah, yes, they're the remnants from Romano Castelli's force, aren't they? Ooh, a new Canadian town. March you guys up to Niagara. You guys can replenish, you guys are replenished. You guys can just go and chop up some of these... Some of these rampaging Prussian French these rampaging French stacks. I mean that was a that was a bloody victory. That was. But that's why you guys can go join them. Give them some more artillery. You guys have got howitzers, let's repair this, let's repair this. Boston's just about hanging on with us. Lots top tip. Buildings being built. You could really do with some actual infantry, really. Spain's declared on this, so I'm anticipating an army landing to hit us. K 
Cuba can start to recruit troops to deploy over to Antigua. Lots of Parisian raids, but that's okay. But where I want to go is hop over to the colonial French frontier. So these troops are going to go join the force here in Boston. Quebec could probably do a lot worse than just spamming out infantry every turn to send south. Because you're in good shape. You're in fairly good shape. Can I leave New York? I can. I can drop them on this bridge and draw them into a bridge battle if they go after New York from this direction. It's a lot of men to hack through. But hack through it we will. Oh, Paris now hates us. Is it because they broke the school? Let's upgrade the boarding house. That's just France. That's just France. Yeah. London provides a bit of the flexibility to provide elite troops that my that Paris does not have then Scotland can just keep rolling out artillery war declared between Prussia and Russia so that's the end of Russia <laughs> um, I think they're going to get Moscow fellas lots of good recruitment oh yeah okay they're rioting in France I could knock down the university to be honest at this stage not super critical hmm. let's hop down to Africa let's resupply or make sure this army is reinforced let's maybe not push them up to the territory yet just hold them over on the edge of the border you guys keep replenishing. Let's pick up some military building upgrades just in case. Oh yeah, I do have this army down here. Just sat waiting. No, I'm going to keep them there as a bit of a reaction force just in case something happens that is un a bit unforeseen. Let's do some Let's actually repair this steam pumped mine first. Let's upgrade Boston's roads, upgrade a fur market. New port emerges in Acadia. Fishery it is, because I don't think it's going to matter. Oh, there's another one up there. At Louisburg! Do I intercept? No. I'm going to attack Niagara next turn. Oh, the French are marching up. Hopefully, if they break the school, that might mean that French unhappiness has gone away. Uh, yes, auto resolve. <laughs> Back you go. Back you go. So now Prussia is going to be balancing most of their forces. Well, I say most of their forces. They've got a bucket load of troops over towards Russia. But I don't want any part of that. <laughs> the Greek Navy continuing to sail on. But yeah, so they've raided us there. And that's okay. We've got significant forces to defend. They are... They are uh, depleted anyway, so that wouldn't really bother me. What would be the concerning part is... Uh, ooh. Let's go ahead and Philadelphia. Signore. With Alessio... No, he's got no howitzers. I could give him howitzers, but then it would take time. Ah, 
A sinistra. In marcia. Servo vostro. Oh no, whoops. Wrong. In attesa di ordine. Wrong time. You guys are replenishing. You guys are replenishing. Signore. At least I'm pretty sure this is the objective. Yes, one more region to end our campaign, at least in theory. But still do some more upgrading in the event that that this campaign wins the campaign vote. So let's keep upgrading our ports because they're good earners. Same up here. Pick up two militia units to go guard these ports. To be honest, should be spending more money on roads than I currently am. Yeah, Daniel Boscovich gets the honour of capturing the last territory. So let's go take it out. Uh, I would go and take Philadelphia, maybe. Maybe, well, maybe. Maybe I might end the episode doing that. <laughs> so this might be for the win. The next episode will be uh, a large siege to end it, which means this is going to be a long episode. I mean, to be honest, this battle probably won't take very long. Okay, artillery on the higher ground behind the line. We've got a bucket load of infantry to drive up. I mean, generally, when I have armies like this, my with such limited variety, my the actual amounts of you know interesting things you can do just plummet right through the floor. Because right now there is no. There is no reason to do anything other than swarm forward with all our infantry. I mean, their forces are tiny and depleted. My howitzers might even go into round shot. Because there isn't really the need to have them do anything else. You guys focus on the tribal auxiliary with your artillery fire because the artillery is going to be dealt with by my infantry. Okay, now pick new targets, because it looks like... Oh no, they got turned away. A bit stuttery. This infantry line needs to push up a lot, which means you guys need to push up probably more like that. Except not to provide friendly fire. Uh, did you? Huh, maybe their, their artillery did some good work, surprisingly. But it will not save them. Ah, we're too close for your quick climb. Uh, you need to change your composition. There we go. And my men just pound their centre with round shot. 104th Regiment of Foot. I don't think they're going to be around for very long. Let's give my field artillery to engage the general's bodyguards. It looks like he might be trying to run around. Ooh, those are very short. Yep, there goes the garrison militia. This small, this tiny unit of grenadiers. Look at them. Ah. 
Yeah, they start off with 15 men. Now <laughs> they've only got five. Four. Yeah, you know what? I think I am going to take Philadelphia because this would be a bit of a damp squib. Especially as little, well, yeah. Congrad is. Get a volley off. There's the man himself. Ooh. It's to focus him, because it's it's just not needed anywhere else on the battlefield. <laughs> and some of them are coming back to their credit, but I don't think it's going to be a lasting feature. I mean, it's like the odds of the 74. They're, in our, they're right where I want my line to be. Thirty, 35th are going to end up getting shot in, the, shot in the hell in the flank. You're making the 8th Regiment uneasy. The militia broke. That's fine. These two men storm in against the 74th. Oh no. So it's blue facings versus red facings. The generals come back. Because you can take up the position, get into the line. Yeah, these Frenchmen are surprisingly resolute after being surrounded and destroyed. There we go, you men form up. Get the artillery again at the General's bodyguard. Look at him, he's at down to 29 men. His army is all but destroyed. My cavalry have had no role, chiefly because I've been anchoring my line and moving up and so on. There hasn't really been a need to have a, a flanking, a wide flanking maneuver to try and knock out the enemy. At least not one that needs any sort of speed. Bodyguards here, the 35th are eyeing him up. Yeah, I can't, even, I can't pick him up particularly. There he is at the back. <laughs> Down to seven. Yeah. So this that is a classic example of what can happen when the if you just if you break their morale too quickly all they do is just form to the rear and there we go that's a win on the campaign however i would like to capture philadelphia can't do it this turn fur trap post great states i mean i've got no money to upgrade those Cuba's got the goods. Oh no, actually, to be honest, I've got... Obviously the one ship I move out of the port is not here. Let's move these guys down just to make sure they don't surprise us at... The new Spaniards don't uh, leave us wanting. He's 
probably meant to come over or move up to attack southern Italy, but I don't think... Not Italy. Southern... Southern... Uh, southern French territory, or maybe Florida, but I don't think that's going to happen. Public servant dies. So my deal is going to be, if we don't get attacked elsewhere, I will march on and hit Philadelphia. If we do get attacked elsewhere, then... It will have to be the end of the part. <laughs> but I don't think that's going to happen. The big stack near... near Mon near Not Montreal. Uh, was it Montreal? They were the ones I was concerned about attacking Paris. And if they did, then I would have to defend Paris prior to attacking Philadelphia. <laughs> they will offer you a grand. Like, no. They're allied with Hungary... Huron and the United Provinces. Not interested, I tell you. So here we go. Barring any weird goings on. Because we all know how the game likes that. We've created another rake in England. There's probably going to be rebels around Paris somewhere. Oh no, I think... It, no, because they broke the university. It meant we did not get a rebellion. Perfect. Newport in Maine. So let's... Start to send our... Troops around to take those positions. Let's upgrade our... Industry buildings to improve the tax base of a future campaign. So, if I march you guys over here, you are in range. If I take this army to go hit Greenwood Mines, to clear the way for these men to abandon the Iroquois territory and hopefully get within range of support so you guys can go into the territory there to hopefully hold down I mean obviously they're unhappy understandably let's repair the body house yeah you'll get there upgrade economy Montreal can get better roads I think okay, let's push push things forward just to act as a bit of a blocking force I mean not that I think this is going to go any other way than the way we want it to probably want to drop my cavalry out for those two infantrymen why do we only get the militia can you guys move up Awesome. We do have lots of reinforcing troops, but as per usual, the strategy is to capture the city before you kill all of these men and remove them from the map. So let's go and capture Philadelphia and hopefully uh, end the campaign on a bit of a high note. And then I need to, to ask, after I've recorded this video, I'm going to go and record the faction vote video that will be coming out half an hour after this video I mean not that many of you guys will probably uh, know that because not many people I think of all my campaigns when I St. John is my least popular and I'm like 54 minutes deep into a video so if you're here bravo I mean I'm having good fun <laughs> if, if, even if no one else is Let's get this set up. No ways in already. Drop my put my field artillery down a bit further back. So I'm gonna deploy my men back he back here. Because I know they've got reinfo some reinforcements coming in. Okay. 
Okay, good. They are coming in in a non-surprising direction. They do have howitzers. And they actually got some good hits on my howitzers right off the bat. What I do want to do is get a unit on the walls and try and get them to run around and capture them. I used to do that in Rome 1 all the time. And the reason why that's on the brain is because while I'm recording this, Rome 1's coming out the day after I record this, so I've been watching videos and getting content. And consuming content. Okay, you guys hit the 102nd. If we hit there, our cavalry, do they want to come out and try and kill me? Potentially, I might want my howitzers to also work on the fort walls as well. While also deploying my troops ahead of the artillery. Good, my artillery's already fired. If you guys are upset, you can also attempt to destroy the wall. Although this unit. You guys definitely do try and take out the 102nd. So some are going to go hit the wall, some are going to hopefully go over. And one of them actually, actually did go over. Oh, you aimed at the wrong target. Yeah, okay, let's focus on getting a section of the wall down and then maybe even this section of the wall down. If they are going to continue to engage us in that manner. Although I could just start dropping shells on the centre, would be handy. No. Tried and true strategy. Focus on clearing out the men near the breaches first. The general was killed by an errant musket ball or errant artillery shell, which is lovely. Because when the attack does come in, it needs to overwhelm. It's good that I do have that. Okay, right. Now you guys don't shoot at them anymore. Go after some other unit. Because we don't want them killed. Not until our men are in there in more numbers. Otherwise, we're going to have reinforcements coming in over from the rear faster than we can actually deal with them. At the very least, we want them to rout while we're in here still. Come on, field artillery. Open up. Don't tell me you've bugged out. Did you get... Why have you... Well, I completely missed a cavalry charge. That's why you deploy your infantry forward, kids, when the computer looks like they're going to be a bit edgy. Oh wow, looks like actually two of our guns are... Okay, fire it well off and on. I thought it worked, but apparently it did not. At least we've almost made the breach already. We don't need to worry about it anymore. This is my quick line. Should be working on getting to work on other units. 150 men, 100 men. Okay. 
It's probably good enough now to start our push. Two more shots and they've taken the uh, taken the wall down. As as rubbish as the artillery has been. Yeah, the, out of these six guns, there's only two that are firing. There we go. Let's push up our push up our line to try and give them their artillery more stuff to focus on than they can handle. So we need to get ready for their to receive their cavalry charge but we also don't want our infantry tied up trying to f fight everything see there's one unit which i think is you yeah but it is you come all the way around the rear you men push up Start dropping shells on their shells on their cavalry. My men will clear the men out of the breaches quickly enough. Let's probably get this cavalry around the rear. If I can capture the gates, then that means that they have to come all the way around here and then come in the breach to try and actually stop stop what I want to do. So I'm more than happy to do a bit have a bit of a slow burn near the breach, because it looks like they don't actually ah, I was about to say they don't actually want to attack me, but they will. So out here, I'm going to be dropping most of my men into square. Uh, you guys ignore the 108th if they're not going to do anything. Okay, the route is on. The route is on. This gatehouse is ours, they can't push out anywhere other than the front gate. Which is exactly what we want. They may still try. So you guys don't even don't climb up there. You guys scale the walls, you guys get ready to run in with cavalry support. Yeah, the artillery can fire all they like. There's no one coming to help. We are taking over. I mean, yeah, I have opened open this gate to try and get in, so... That's going to happen. These men are here to run in and notionally drop into square, but I don't know how long that's going to wash. So these men need to run off the wall. As quickly as possible. There we go, we've secured this gate.
now the aim of the game is to overwhelm their defences. You guys run off around to try and capture to try and capture the other gates. Yep, you're gonna hit the 82nd Regiment of Militia. And grenadiers are getting probably hacked to bits by all this cavalry. These men aren't hanging about. To be honest, you guys can just charge the artillery. As they're gonna come up here, run down here, then run straight into the artillery pieces. To be honest, you guys may as well charge in the back of those dragoons. Oh, there you go, they're trying to drop quick climb on us. You don't want them to get away with that. General's bodyguards intervening. No, they're not going to get over to that gatehouse because they're going to keep being dragged over by the. Uh, they're going to keep getting dragged over by the combat. So you guys. If you guys could get up there and then start firing down, that'd be great. These guys are getting up here in good numbers now. General's been killed. Okay, whoa, okay, for a minute I was like, why are my guys not... I was like, why are my guys not shooting, uh... Shooting at those guys? Okay, let's get... Get our guys in. No, don't run away. You definitely do want to run away, but don't. Keep pushing. Keep running into these mortars. There we go, the 55th have gotten to a good firing point on top of the hill. On top of the wall, sorry. This Grenadier Regiment is in fully, so I'm going to send them over to the centre to go capture it. You guys charge that regiment. Charge the 36th, the 67th. Just run in. This unit, just run in. Because you can start to see, they're bringing up artillery. Let's go send my cavalry to go intercept. These men are still bugged. Okay, let's stop my houses from firing because I think they're upsetting my grenadiers. Are they going to drop stakes? They are! Wheel off! So one of my infantry units has been pushed away from the breach, but probably due to my own artillery fire. Get every free unit. Over to the centre. Let's 
attack the light horse. Gain control over the center. You guys hit the guard de corps, even though they're very ups they're very good cavalry. You guys charge into the guys holding the gate. You guys charge the gunners. You guys get into the center of here. You men keep attacking those dragoons. go this, this is very much what you've got to do in order to beat a garrison that's got a large amount of support obviously the light cavalry ran into the middle reset my timer my artillery engage actually no let's not do that <laughs> deliberately order friendly fire these guys are bugged on the stairs. Well, they're coming up. Okay. Form a... Defensive ring. Around the centre. <laughs> we don't want anyone... You can interfere with our plans. Getting in here. There you can see they're bringing in. Got their infantry, their cavalry that's running. They got militia coming in. You guys could actually garrison this section of the wall and bring your artillery to bear. You guys probably go over here. You've captured all the gates apart from the ones at the front, at the center. These men have done good holding up the units near the walls. Cavalry's done well. You guys can try and kill the last of this guard cavalry. But it will not matter, for we can see their reinforcements have been blocked by fighting the single cavalry unit. That's held off the enemy reinforcements. So now they cannot intervene in the fight. Philadelphia is ours. Excellent. <laughs> Just as we see, we hear a Frenchman dying. And it's also very, 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 very clearly important to click end battle. But there we go. So you see what happens. We defeat one army and it, that defeat carries on into all of them. And they've lost eight and a half thousand men. But they are not defeated. Not if this campaign were to continue. They are not... They're not out of it. Territory, though, would be ours. And before we replenish or repair anything, we'd repair our buildings. And there we have it, folks. I think that's probably quite a good position to end the uh, the, the final end our campaign on chiefly because i think it's about time i think this is about it because we've had a good a good run at the start well many many false starts um but you've kind of i've kind of outlined the challenges of playing as the knight of st john in that the real problem the real struggle is being able to grow as fast as other developing powers grow that's the real problem We've managed to we managed to uh, fight enough battles against a few of our enemies to keep them, or to allow us to engage and expand fairly incrementally. Um, but it is clear that we've we're running out of we're running running out of steam a bit, and will we will, will we be able to compete against things like Prussia? Late game, I don't know. 
but this is the end so i'm going to go record my final my uh, campaign vote video uh the details will be in that faction vote video i will be putting in suggestions that you guys have mentioned before about what factions you'd like to see and i'll throw in a couple that i'd like to see as well just for interest see how they'd be received this will not be replacing my brutii campaign on Romy master that will be happening regardless so this is just for extra extra content so thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed and we'll see you next time for a faction vote to see how uh, how what nation we take to glory into the future radio cheers everyone